quad plank to tripod lower body focus builds off of what we established with quad planks. So all the principles apply. You want to tuck the tailbone, draw the belly button in, and then once you have that, you want to make sure that the upper back is flat. Now when that happens, you should feel the core engagement around the entire perimeter of the rib caves all the way down to the abdomen. Once you have that engagement and you feel a strong draw-in sensation on your abdomen, then what we're gonna do is we make sure that, say we have that 50-50 weight distribution, and then without moving the hips, you're going to keep your core muscles engaged. You're going to slide the leg out into an extended position. Now, because you're keeping your core engaged, you're going to feel a very strong contraction in the hamstring and the glute of the leg that's extending. If you don't feel that contraction, it's likely that when you slid out and went to lift, you allowed your lumbar spine curvature to increase and you lifted with the muscles of your low back instead of lifting with your butt and your hamstring muscles. So if you're not feeling butt and hamstring, chances are we've lost the engagement. So when we're doing this, assume the quad plank position. Once we have quad plank, you're going to really fight to keep that engagement as you lift that leg up. There should be minimal shifting in the hips. There should be a minimal drop in the hip when you go to extend the leg out. And you're really trying to make sure you keep that neutral spine as you lift the leg up into the air. Ninety ninety lift off is going to start with your leg positioning being in this Z sit type of position. Now you can hold on to the kettlebell. I'll show you how to use assistance if the if if an individual is struggling with this, or um, you could do this body weight. But what we're going to do from this ninety ninety position is we're going to lift into a semi kneeling position. Once you come back down, then you'll take your legs, you'll rotate over so your leg and your knees are pointing the other direction and you'll lift off in that direction, alternating back and forth. Doing this, holding the bell, you would have the bell here. We lift off, we hold the bell. The bell actually is a little bit helpful to help you switch from side to side. So if you find the struggle is more in the alternating, you can switch or you can hold on to a bell that'll make things a little bit easier. So the inside of this knee, the outside of this knee is pressing to get you up. If we're having trouble getting into that position, grab a band. I have a band here, choke out on the band and use the band to assist you in coming into that extended position. Next exercise in this sequence is what we call a surrender squat. Now the reason it's called a surrender squat is because we never lose our squat position when we come to standing. So we don't want to come all the way up into a full standing position. We're actually going to come up into a squat position. This one can be done body weight with band assistance or with a kettlebell in the hand for resistance. This is what it looks like body weight. So what we'll do is we'll start in this kneeling position, take one foot up, take the other foot up. We come into a squat position. Now we take the other foot back down, other back down. So foot up, foot up, knee down, knee down. Up, up, down, down. I've got a bell in my hand. Everything stays the same. I'm just holding goblet squat style squat uh, position as I do my surrender squats. If I need assistance, I'll have the band on tension here and I'll do my squats here. 
So thinking about your foot placement, you definitely want to keep your foot flat on the floor. You don't want to be on your balls, the balls of your feet as you do this one, because we want to engage the glute, not get the knee too far over the toe. Next one we're going to do is a lateral bear crawl with the bell drag. You could use the sandbag as well uh, or a dumbbell. But for this purpose, we're going to start in our quadruped position. Nice neutral spine, just like we do on the quad plank. We're going to take the bell over, and then we're going to bear crawl so it's back underneath our shoulder. Take the bell over, walk laterally. So be aware of your hip position. When you switch directions, we're just alternating the direction that we're bear crawling as we do our lateral walks. So make sure the butt is not way up in the air while we're doing this. We want to try to keep the hips and the shoulders in line, which means you're going to hover the bell, or your, sorry, hover your knees over the ground as you move the bell side to side. Keep a nice stable core in this position. We shouldn't be way up butt in the air. There should be very little sagging or twisting in the hips as we're going through these exercises. 